Good morning. It's Thursday, April 6, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Unless. And our scripture is John's Gospel, chapter 13, where the beloved apostle writes, Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, Peter said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You don't understand now what I'm doing, but someday you will. No, Peter protested, You will never, ever wash my feet. Jesus replied, Unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed, Then wash my hands and my head as well, Lord, not not just my feet. Peter's refusal at first wasn't a matter of control, it was just the opposite. Peter knew himself to be unworthy to be served by Jesus. Jesus was holy. Peter was a leather-faced fisherman who knew the fickleness within himself. He couldn't fit in anybody's description of pure. He wasn't good enough. And he was right. Peter wasn't just right about himself, he was right about all of us. He knew what the prophet had said about all humans. Isaiah chapter 64. We are all infected and impure with sin. When we display our righteous deeds, they are nothing but filthy rags. Like autumn leaves, we wither and fall, and our sins sweep us away like the wind. Hence Jesus' answer. Simon, buddy, if you won't take my washing, you won't have anything from me. This is the whole issue of salvation God offers. There is nothing any human being can do to be cleansed from our sin. The Apostle Paul writes, For no one can ever be made right with God by doing what the law commands. The law simply shows us how sinful we are. God specifically said no human being still practicing evil or having refused Christ will be allowed entrance to the New Jerusalem, which is heaven. Revelation chapter 21, nothing evil will be allowed to enter, nor anyone who practices shameful idolatry and dishonesty, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. The Lamb's book of life is the account of everyone who accepts the cleansing from sin which Jesus offered by virtue of his death on the cross. What Jesus taught his disciples in that upper room, particularly Peter, was a metaphor. He washed their feet, and it represented the washing of their hearts that he would do the next day. What looked like the greatest failure in history, oh, would-be, quote-unquote, Messiah, hanging naked, bloodied, beaten, and stone-cold, dead on a criminal's cross, would be his offer of eternal, internal cleansing each of us needs to be right with our Creator. Jesus told Peter, and he tells us, unless I give you this cleansing, you'll never be mine. You'll not be in the Lamb's book of life. For you today, I have known many people who hesitated to accept Christ as Savior because, like Peter, they knew how unworthy they were, uncertain they could live into God's ways. And that is the very first step in the process of inking your name in his book. You must repent of your sins. Unless you know how bad you are, you'll never understand how marvelous grace is and how much God wants to forgive you and draw you close to Him. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.